and welcome back to another episode of AG Popcorn. I'm bringing you my very first customization video. So I'm customizing Kit, as we can see with her lovely head. To create her hair, I had an old Caroline wig that I dyed pink. If you want to see how I did that, go to Forever and Dollways' new video, How to Dye Your Doll Hair with Sharpies. Great video, tried that out, worked amazing. I did it with um, same color red as she did, but with a different brand, so it came out a lot differently colored, but I really love the way that it came out. So that's going to be her new hair. I've also, I cut it, and if you didn't recognize this wig, it was the wig that it was previously on Amberly. Um, I had, if you'll notice that it's straight and the other one was curled. I used a simple straightening iron technique to get that straight. So for Kit's body, I haven't really done too much. I restuffed it and I'm trying to get this blue mark off her leg for three days and it has not been able to come off. So I'm just going to leave it and have her wear some longer shorts to cover that up. So as for Kit's head, I really, really love her wig still and I definitely want to still be able to use it in future. Um, so I'm gonna do my best to keep this wig really nice and store it so that I will be able to use it again in the future. So until then, I'm just going to be removing it with a spoon. Well, I won't be gluing the wig down with tacky glue or hot glue. I'm gonna be using glue dots to keep it in place and I'm going to, um, do the same thing if I were to do any more rewigging. Uh, especially if the doll has hair that I want to keep. That way I can switch the wigs out easier instead of having to rewig them. I have been trying to get Kit's wig off for three days now, and this is as far as I've gotten. Like, a spoon-sized dent. So, I am going to try once more, and then if that doesn't work, get my dad to help me, and we will get her wig off. So, I'll be back to you when that's done. Alrighty, so as you guys can see, I successfully got the wig off, however, it did involve a pair of pliers, my dad's help, and some extreme cleaning because, yeah, that thing was not coming off. So, she has just these little baby wisps of hair, which I'm going to remove, and then I will get my glue dots, put her wig on, and I will be back to you guys when that is done. Alright, so as you guys can see, I have put on the wig, and it is lovely, and now I'm going to uh, brush it just using some simple water from this spray bottle, a wig brush, this is not American Girl brand, this just came in my Amazon order, which um, I did not decide to videotape because it was just the brush. I got this off Amazon for $3, and it's just a wig wire brush, it's Diane. Alrighty, so... I'm just, like I said, going to use some water and squirt it down. So, um, at first, when I first brushed the hair, I was worried that I was going to wash all the dye out. But the thing was, you already washed the dye out when you um, first do the hair. When you, like, spray the hair and then you wash it out again. So, there was no reason for me to fear the dye coming out. So, as we can see... The hair is still very pink, and in some sections a little bit wetter than others, but that's alright. So I'm just going to put her head on her body and get her some clothing so that nobody is scarred for life, and I will see you guys when I get back. And now for the final product. She looks so great. I'm really happy with the way that she turned out. Her hair is beautiful, although the wind is making it look like it's something from the 90s. She looks great. I love the little shirt that I put her in, which ties in little bows at the shoulders. Blue pants, and overall, I think she looks so great. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time on AG Popcorn. Bye!